Hi Pugsters, welcome back. So in today's video I'm going to be doing like a little mini vlog of taking the mutts to the beach and then also later on as I promised I'll be showing you how to make doggy treats. So Mickey's driving at the moment, there's Mickey obviously you haven't met him before. Oh, yeah. Sorry he can't talk much because obviously he's driving, he needs to concentrate. And then the mutts are in the back. Oi, Mario! Mario! Okay, usually they're jumping up at the back and we have to keep telling them off to get down and sometimes Grace always jumps over and then also you have Mario just whining like a baby because he does not like getting in the car. But they should be all right in a minute because we've nearly arrived at our destination. We're taking them to the seafront near Yarmouth. There you go, look, you can see Mario there. Hello, Mario. <laughs> He's probably wondering what the hell I'm going on about. So yeah, we're nearly at the beach and we're gonna take them for a nice long walk. And then also you might be able to see Molly going like in the sea because she loves going in the sea. The other dogs are a bit scared of it because it's too cold. But Molly loves going in the sea and having a swim. And also she loves the good old rolling of some seaweed. So hopefully I can get some footage of them doing that today, guys, because that's what they usually get up to. And I know that you'll enjoy watching them. So yeah, we're nearly, oh, sorry, we're just going over a few bumps. So yeah, we're nearly at the beach, and then when we're there, guys, I'll show you what the mutts get up to at the beach. So we've arrived at the beach, guys, and it looks, I don't know if you can see or not properly, because the light in. We have arrived, and it looks cold, but it looks like it's going to be a really nice, good walk for the dogs. i just got to put the camera away, because I literally have to put the four mutts on their leads. So guys, we're at the beach now. Got all the dogs out of the car. Molly literally jumped out. We had quickly grab her. So yeah, it's pretty windy here, guys. I hope you can hear me. But the dogs already having like loads of fun. Gracie, what are you doing? Have you found a rabbit hole? What's in there, Grace? We are back home. I've just had a really nice cup of tea. Mickey is watching rugby, I think, or football, I'm not quite sure. I think it's rugby. And the mutts, as you can tell, keep hovering around me because it actually has gone past like their dinner time. It is now like caught like 20 past three, and they usually have their dinner at three o'clock. So that's why they keep hovering around me, guys. So I'm now gonna call them, I'm gonna use the magic words that we literally get them all running so yeah din dins din dins 
<laughs> See? It works. Okay, so I'm now going to go and feed them. Usually it gets very noisy because Mario gets very um, excited. Don't you, Mario? Don't you? Is it time for dindins? Do you want your dindins? Do you want your dindins, Rose? Yeah? Okay, so... I'm now going to try and record this and get their dinner ready with one hand so you guys can see like what it's like trying to give them dinner because literally they go mad. So excuse the dirty towels behind, they actually are clean, they've just got blood stains on, they're just what I use to like dry the mats with. So the dogs usually just get one spoon of like this really healthy dog food that I give them. Okay, so I told you they go mad. Okay, I'm gonna show you how I've been trying to train them to like sit down. So yeah, let's see if this actually works. I probably wouldn't now and record it for you guys, but yeah. Okay, Rose is first. You want to get the food first. Sit. Sit. No. She don't usually sit, but I let her get away with it because I saw legs. So Gracie, do you want your din dins? Oh look, see she's already sat down. Wait, no, wait, wait, sit, sit, Gracie, sit. Okay, she's not going to sit, go on then. Okay, usually Mario and Molly are really good. Molly, sit, wait, wait, go on then, see, uh, that one, she was good. Mario, look, he usually starts foaming at the mouth, like look, he's foaming. Are you hungry, Mario? Okay, sit, stay, wait, 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 no, wait, go on then. Good boy, good boy. See, guys, I told you, they absolutely love their dinner. Grace is literally nearly finished. Look at Molly, she's like a hoover. Is that nice, Molly? Is that nice? <laughs> I better now go and guard Rose's dinner because usually she's the slow eater and they then go and try and grab and eat her food, bless her little heart. Okay guys, so I'm now going to start making the doggy treats and Mickey is the cameraman today. So the first ingredient you're going to need is some wholemeal bread flour or you also can use white flour also. And then you'll need some rolled oats and some peanut butter but you've got to make sure it's doggy friendly so try to get ones that haven't got any oil in um, also you can get some doggy friendly peanut butter from pets at home guys and then also you need some warm water so to start off with you also need to have your equipment so you need a bowl a rolling pin, two spoons, one for mixing, one for getting peanut butter out of the jar, a cup and then a tray and a cooling rack. So that's everything you need to you know, get yourself started. So first off, you need to get your wholemeal or white flour and you just need one cup of this. And I am probably gonna be making a mess, guys, and the dog's already hovering around my feet waiting for food to drop on the floor. But it wouldn't be that tasty because it's just like flour at the moment. So you have one cup of flour and then you also need to add your peanut butter and you need about a cup full of peanut butter and I've already figured out that I'm going to need most of this jar and this jar is 340 grams. Now when you've added that in you need to add a cup of rolled oats Okay, once you've added the flour, the peanut butter and your oats, you just need to try to, and like mix in a bit. Okay, now you've just kind of like mixed in a little bit, you just need to add a little bit of warm water at a time. So you don't want to add too much because then it'll be too gloopy. You need to keep adding a little bit at a time until it forms like a dough. Okay, now it's like blended more into like a dough, I'm just going to add a little bit of flour onto the surface, just so I can roll it out. So just add a little bit. Just 
move or maintain that line because this is going to get like really messy. So you do need to go in and use your hands <laughs> and just kind of like try and get all the flour and the oats that are at the bottom of the, the bowl. Okay. So now you can see it's more like a dough now. So I'm just gonna like, kind of like press it all together a bit, just so it don't like crumble, because it's looking a bit crumbly. Maybe I need to add a little bit more water. It smells so good, it smells like proper peanut butter. Buttery, if that's actually a word. It's probably one of my other has dictionary words. Okay, I'm now gonna use the rolling pin just to roll it out. I think I might have needed to add a little bit more flour to this because it's a bit crumbly. Okay, so re-evaluating the situation, I realised that I did need to add more water. So I thought, you know, I better cut camera, add some more water. So I added literally another half a cup of water. So yeah. It's rolling out like much better now. It's still a bit sticky, but at least it was better than what it was before. So just roll it out to about half a centimetre or, you know, depending on how thick you want it. You want your dog biscuits to be. Once you've rolled it out to the thickness you want, you just need like a dog bone shaped cutter or whatever kind of cutter you want really. But I've gone for like a dog bone because obviously these are for my dogs. So all you need to do now is just cut out as many of these dog bone shapes or whatever shape cutter you're using. Okay, so I've nearly cut out as many dog bones as I can with the like dough that I've that I had. They're looking some of them are looking a bit flowery, but you know. I've made these before and the other ones were a little bit more flowering than what these are looking. So I'm just going to add them to my tray guys. And I just realised one of the first things you're meant to do before you start this recipe is set your oven to 180 degrees. So I'm now going to do that. As you can see, I have a few more left over and a lot more dough, so I'm just going to re-roll that and then press out some more cutters and then add them to another tray, guys. So all my dog bones are on the tray and you just need to pop them in the oven for about 40 minutes, guys. I recommend setting your timer to 35 minutes and then five minutes before the end, obviously you can go and check on them to make sure they're like nice and golden brown. If they're looking a bit dark, you obviously need to take them out now. Yep, so all we need to do is wait to see when the buzzer go off and see if they're ready. And then once they're ready, you need to let them cool down for at least one hour before you give them to your dogs. And then also you can store them in the fridge. And I recommend consuming them, well, the dogs consume them within a couple of weeks of cooking them. So guys, I took the treats out of the oven over an hour ago, so they're cooled down now. So I'm going to give one each to each of the dogs, if that made sense. And let's see if they like them or not. And I'm sure they will, because they absolutely love peanut butter flavoured things. So yeah, who's going to have a treat first? So should we give one to Rose? Rosie? There you go. Then we have Grace, there you go. Then we have Molly, oh. <laughs> and then also Mario, oh. <laughs> Eagerly swallowed his. Okay, so they're eating them pretty fast, guys. I think they're enjoying them. Here you go. Is that yummy, Rose? Yeah? Oh, so they've nearly gobbled their treats down, guys. Grace is hiding under the table so no one tries to nick hers. Because look, Mario's now already trying to hunt for any scraps left. So, what do you think of them guys? Did you like them treats? Did you like them? Yeah? Did you like them treats? Were they nice? <laughs> so guys, yeah, I think them treats were definitely a big success. So guys, thank you for watching the video today. 
Rise, I'm trying to say goodbye to the Bugsters. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel and you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And today, the hashtag, I can't do it because I've only got one hand spare, the hashtag be a Pugster shout out goes to... <laughs> Rose is like looking at me like, what the hell? <laughs> The hashtag beer pugster shout out goes to Faiza Javad, and I hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, so yeah, that is the shout out for today, guys. If you want a shout out, all you need to do is look in the description box down below on how to get one. And I will see you guys on Wednesday. No, I won't actually. I'll see you guys on Tuesday because it's pancake day. So I thought I would do an extra little bonus video. And me and Mickey are going to be trying to do a Valentine pancake challenge. Seeing as it is Valentine on Wednesday. So obviously you've got pancake day Tuesday and then Valentine day on Wednesday, guys. So yeah, I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Thanks for watching. Bye.